Good morning. Today we are in Shap, which is in Cumbria. We're currently walking along Wet Sledar Reservoir, which you can see behind me here. We're going to go round the reservoir and up above the hills that you can see behind. Once we've done that, we will have a short visit to Kell Chapel and Shap Abbey for a little bit of history to finish out the day. And it is gorgeous today, so we've got the sunscreen on and hopefully there'll be a little bit of sunbathing along the way. Let's go. Shap Abbey was founded by the Premonstratensian Order in the 12th century on the banks of the River Lowther. It was remodelled a number of times over the centuries, with additions including the stunning 15th century tower initiated by Abbot Redman. Shap was the last abbey to be dissolved by Henry VIII in 1540. Its infirmary was repurposed to become the farm next to the site, with other stonework used to build Shap Market Hall and Lowther Castle. The hamlet of Keld also lies on the banks of the River Lowther. Its rustic stone chapel was built around the 16th century as a chantry for Shap Abbey. Like much of the hamlet, Keld Chapel was built simply with limestone and slate roof. It was later used as a home and meeting rooms and is now owned by the National Trust. The origins of the old concrete road lie in the damming of horse water in the 1930s to become a reservoir providing water to Manchester. From the A6 it passes Wet Sledale over to Swindale and then on to horse water. It would have transported people and building materials to the construction site at Burnbanks. Twisting across the landscape, its gentle curves and climbs would allow early trucks and coaches access. It's now a private road for use by the water board.
The 600 metre long dam across Wet Sledell Reservoir was built in 1960s to provide water to Manchester. Lying close to the small village of Shap, the flooded land formerly belonged to Shap Abbey. Water extracted from here is piped to Hawes Water, with the overflow forming the River Lowther. A walk around Wet Sledell and the Shap Fells is featured in part one.